I bought these is because I was looking at market setups on Pinterest and a lot of people grid set up um, but they weren't cubes they were more like you know they'd have a stack of them and they would hang their prints on there or whatever but when I was looking at like just grid um, like just a single grid thing I was looking at on Amazon and it was like $25. But then I found this whole thing of cubes. That was $25 for all of these. So obviously much more worthwhile, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to put these together. And how I'm gonna use some to display my stickers and everything. I have to figure this out today. I don't want to be doing it last minute. This is how everything looks so far. I printed out this little my last marker I didn't even have a sign with my logo and name on it. I just had a tiny little I just had this price list which I need to make a new one because I've got something spilled on it. But that's all I had. So now I have this um, and I'm also probably going to make something with a QR code so people can scan it and see my Etsy shop on my website. I put all my stickers on here um, and I'm also going to fill these little, these are from Amazon. I see a lot of sticker makers use them. I think they're actually meant for nail polish but they're really good for displaying stickers and I just got this mini version too. This is from Kmart. I use this to transport all of my stuff to market. So I've got some stickers in there, some keychains, which I'm gonna figure out how I wanna display those. Um, and just extra stuff I need like paper bags. Um, and more stickers, washi tapes. Um, these are the little display stands so I can put prices. This, this is how I displayed, I think, my enamel pins last time. Obviously, not the best option, but I'll use that if I can't find anything else. Um, some chalk for writing on the little chalkboard signs. Last time I did a lucky dip, it wasn't, like, super duper successful, but it was a good way to bring people over with their kids, and some people bought, like, a couple of lucky dip bags plus extra things. Um, and they just have, like, a mix of stickers, keychains, um, it's kind of like, yeah, what you get what you get kind of thing. And this is where I'm going to display my art prints. I ordered these mini pegs off of Amazon, they're all like a pack of 100 mini pegs in different colours, so I'm not going to be using these ugly clothes pegs. Once the coloured ones come, which are probably going to come tomorrow, I'm going to see how that looks. But overall I'm pretty happy with the setup. Just have to figure out how I'm going to display my keychains and yeah.
wanted to talk about something that I've been struggling with lately, which is comparing myself to other artists, other creators on YouTube, other creators on Instagram, etc. I know they say comparison is the thief of joy, which is definitely true, but it's kind of hard. It's still something that happens, you know, you see somebody in a position where they've posted one video and it's gone viral and then you've posted 20 videos and none of them have gone viral but there's really no value in comparing yourself to another person especially when there are a lot of people out there doing worse than you better than you um, of course you're always going to focus on the people that are doing better even if there's thousands of people that are doing you know so-called worse um, and I have 1500 followers on Instagram now obviously there are people that have a hundred thousand there are people that have a hundred I was once a person that had a hundred and even then I was really happy with that so you just have to be happy with what you have and something that a quote that always sticks with me that I actually have printed it out and put it on my fridge because I love the quote so much I'm not sure who said it but the quote is you'll always be getting praise and blame follow the calmness the absence of pride so essentially it means you're always going to be doing good or bad but don't let any of it get to your head and just keep doing what you're doing essentially that's what helps me just thinking about that Thank you for watching, my next video will be about my craft market, so I'm going to take as much footage as I can, talk about how much money I make, what I managed to sell, how I prepare and everything, so it should be useful if you ever want to do a craft market in the future. And if you like art related studio vlog type videos, please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.